Hello everybody, this is SanCS, and welcome back to Let's Play Sengoku Gen Sokyo. Last time, we took over the territories of the Doll Liberation Front and completely annihilated them. And in between episodes, I increased our Yumaka amount by a lot. All of the territories to the right, well, okay, you probably can't see our mouse movement, but everything uh, to the right of the human village is, uh, requires now 33 research for the next Ryumaka level. And the ones to the left are uh, a little up as well. And in this episode, we are going to attack the fairy army. But before we do that, um, I have one cutscene uh, I have to show you, which I'm going to play in now. So I immediately fell for the beginner's trap and sent out all my characters um, into the battle against the fairies and totally forgot that the Hakikukure Hades could also counter or attack the human village rather. So we still should be good to go. Yoma is a little powerful, but she's not that. I suddenly regret saying she's not, or wanted to say that she's not that terrible. Well, admittedly, she's not nearly as powerful as Yuka was, which was why I wanted to get Yuka, well, rid of Yuka first and foremost. So, okay, no counter damage for Rimia, that's why I keep using her. Mima, yeah, you attack Yuma as well, why not? Yuma is still the most uh, troublesome character, seeing how she is level 21. Not 27 like Yuka was, but yeah. So yeah, for abilities, Lily White, as you could see, can buff up enemy characters, while uh, Yomo has a strong physical attack. I probably should attack Lily at some point in time. Oh well. Unlike with Yuka, you don't need to absolutely get rid of Yomo, and I believe these uh, affects your stack. Ooh. Oh, but it can also uh, affect us, by the way. If I haven't said so before. Ah, uh, well, that of Lily is a special ability. But all, all in all, Lily is pretty weak. Yoma is not bad, but not as strong as Yuka was. So all in all, this battle here is rather easy compared to what we had to deal with before. And I might remind you, I'm only fighting those five with four characters. <laughs> However, I still should not lo uh, lose to them, that would be kind of bad. So, bye Yoma! <laughs> that should buy us some time. Yeah, let's defeat Adonis too, and we've already won. We don't even need to uh, annihilate them. Okay, Marisa... Uh, I'm just gonna attack random characters now. In the hopes that I can somehow defeat them in time. And I can't defeat Lily, that's for sure. But yeah, even though we only had four characters, we could easily do it. Even had the Prism Resistance been here, it wouldn't have been that bad. And the Rimia already got, got an affection bonus, nice. Although already I have her in my party since quite a while. So yeah, um, I'm going to raise her melee status. Alright. And if anything else interesting shows up, I'll be uh, showing off that as well. Otherwise, I'm just going uh, to move on with attacking the uh, strongest fairy army. Other than that, nothing has happened except for the fact that... Uh, all of the other uh, freelancer characters, like Mima, have now joined the groups. Um, Madibal Hearn has joined the fairy army, of course. You know, right behind the fairy army, these four territories above. Once you've conquered them, you will get a character who will make capturing a character so much easier. Ah, oh well. But the good news is, at least in my playthrough, <laughs> that um, Mistia Lorelei, as well as Renko Uzami, the other 
always freelancer character, have joined the Hakagyokuro Hades. And things become quite funny if you uh, realize that in fan work, Mistia is always seen as food for Yuiko, who is obviously the leader of the Hakagyokuro Hades. Why would you want to join such an army anyway, Mistia? But anyway, uh, yeah. We do not have any more events regarding the fairy army, so that is perfect. Meaning that we can now take them on! Oh, by the way, a couple of characters leveled up because, uh, yeah, I was fighting the fairy army so often. Um. You know what? I'm going to level up some characters. Probably should have done that in between episodes. Uh, yeah, because. Experience does not carry over into the next level, so if you, like, need 13 more experience for the next level up, but you get 30, you will not get the remaining experience uh, for the next level, so no more 17 experience that you usually would get. So that's why you want to level up your characters before uh, they do so in battle. And I really don't need five characters for this battle, but <laughs> I like doing that. By the way, uh, I've got some new party setups. My primary party is now Reima, Marisa, Eiki, Ken, and Mima. Had I not uh, captured Mima, I would send in Aya into this battle. Where is she? Aya, Aya. Oh, all the way down there. Oops. Yeah, I would send in Aya into my primary party. Uh, but now I mostly use her for research. And my secondary party consists of Alice, Shanghai, Hora, Yuka, and Medicine. Unfortunately, I can't bring uh, Rumia into any party uh, that well, unless I want to use one of the characters for research. So, uh, yeah, Rumia is not in any party right now. Had I not ha uh, captured Mima, Rumia would uh, replace Aya. But Regal is just a researcher now. So, yeah, with that way overpowered army for that battle, really the fairies have become really weak. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, let's go in. Rem and Marisa once again gathered in front of the human village to prepare for the trip to the lake. Now then, will the great magic user Marisa Kirisama show us what she is up her sleeve? Come on, you're making me blush. Anyways, I'll get it started right now. She first took to the skies and pointed herself at the direction of the lake. I hope that uh, lake that you see is actually still the real lake. Another delusion already. First things first. The lake's definitely this way, right? Yes, definitely. We've been going in the right direction, but somehow kept getting lost and ended up where we started. And that's all the work of a few fairies who can manipulate sound and light. Got that so far? Uh-huh. So what do we do about it? You know, what if you just like shut your eyes and plucked your ears, then the fairies shouldn't be able to do anything to you anymore, right? Don't rush me, genius takes time, you know. Give it some thought. How do you sense lights and sound? Through my eyes and ears, obviously. What kind of question is that? Yup, yup. That's why the answer is real simple. Marisa then alighted from her trademark broom to stand next to it, leaving it pointed at the direction of the lake. Now, meet our special guest, the world's one and only mysterious flying broom. Accompanied by the only person in the world who would write that broom. That ain't the time for jokes. Now, one last question. Does this broom have eyes or ears? For all I know, it may be some monster broom, but as far as I can see, no, it doesn't. <laughs> that just reminded me of some uh, doshinji, I might link to it in the description if I don't forget it, where Marisa's broom uh, somehow got a life of its own. <laughs> it was quite funny, actually. <laughs> we have a winner! This is indeed a normal flying broom. It doesn't have eyes or ears, so... Ah, I see. This broom certainly won't be affected by sounds or the scenery. Alright, this broom's headed straight for the lake. We're gonna follow right behind it and not look away for even one second. Let's go! Quite clever there, Marissa, I have to admit though. 
Because even if you plucked your ears and covered your eyes, you still might hear some sounds. Or might get distracted by... I don't know what. <laughs> but it might happen. At Marissa's signal, the broom began moving forward, with Rayma and the rest following behind it. The area became wildering and soundless, but they pressed on following the broom. And then, finally, I can see the lake! <laughs> so they've really made it. The lake spread out before their weary eyes, and right nearby were three fairies shocked speechless. Ah, uh, no way! Our special trick was solved so simply. So this was your work, huh? I'll admit that the trick was surprisingly effective, but in the end, it's still just a prank from some simple-minded fairies. Don't let that hear Letty, after all she came up with that plan. Looks like some punishment's coming right up! Oh, At desperate times like these, we have to show them what we're made of! He'll pay for looking down on us fairies! Star, come on, say something inspiring! Uh, I kind of want to go home and rest. I can't, huh? Obviously! Let's go, we'll make sure not a single strand of your hair will be unruffled! Somehow, this feels a little underwhelming. Well, whatever, prepare yourself! <laughs> uh, this will be another easy battle, so I'll probably just cut it out since... I believe I showed off all the characters already. Yeah. There's not even Diosi or Kierno there, so yeah. I'll cut that out and I'll meet you right after this battle. That was an easy victory. <laughs> we even got 100%. Nice. But we couldn't capture anyone. Oh well. And uh, Mudable didn't show up either. Oh. Well, maybe we get lucky and see your next battle. So, um, you know what? I'm not really finished with developing here. We, uh, we still have a couple of more territories. The human village, I'll, I would bother because even if I'm uh, careful, it might still be accidentally captured. And yeah, I don't want to raise the. Uh, Rimaku of any territory that can easily be captured by enemies. So the next round... Ooh, Mr. Legs being counterattacked. We might be able to capture them, I want to say. Okay, what you want to do now is... The fairies are extremely easy to begin with. So what you want to do now is just send in a couple of weaker characters, like... I want to keep Marisanima together. You know what? I've got to... <laughs> I've gotta be mad there and only send in Marissa and Mima. I will still lose this battle now, probably, but eh, well, let's make things interesting. Also, I want to have a couple of characters left for, oh my god, for uh, when we are fighting the, what's it, uh, the Hakukukuri Hades, since they might counterattack us as well. So yeah, I'll cut that battle out as well, and I'll be right back. Yeah. I annihilated them. You would think that if two people fight five people, the five people would win, but apparently not. Uh, okay, and Tei does not do anything yet either. Hakukyokuro Hades. Nothing either. Okay. So that's good. Um, You know what? I am going to go all out this round and just attack them twice. Although, with All Out, I mean, I'm just going to send in Alice, Sir Dawson, Medicine, not even Yuka, because Yuka and Medicine don't uh, give each other an affection bonus, I believe, at least not on your side. That's not until later. There is actually an event which will uh, cause that to happen, that they give each other uh, a bonus. Uh, yeah, Hora and Medicine is going to be close, and you know what? I do have one more item left, don't I? Medicine? Yeah, we do have the sacred book. Oh, wait, it was a sacred book. Oh, well, okay, then don't mind. Um, there is also some item like the sacred book that increases your defense by two, but your speed by minus one. Uh, so I wanted to give uh, that to medicine. Let's see. I should have some defense increasing equipment too, shouldn't I? Is that the amulet? Oh yeah, it is. Yeah, I'm gonna give the amulet to Notorimia, but medicine now because she is 
my secondary tank because of her special ability, which I couldn't show off yet, surprisingly enough. Even with my backup army, they didn't stand a chance. That's really... Well, okay, you were supposed to defeat them pretty much right after... Uh, let's increase... Melee. Right after uh, they actually showed up. And <laughs> not like I did that I first attacked the uh, Dawn Liberation Front, but right after you defeat the fairy army, the army behind them pops up. So yeah, that's why I didn't want to uh, attack them any sooner. So now let's take with us... I know Raymond and Yuka don't like each other, obviously. Uh, who does Yuka like anyway, or... Uh, Rimya, Yuka. I don't want to split Maresan Mima. Kena probably doesn't like Rimya because she keeps eating humans, or at least she wants to. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. This is the decisive battle, so I think it'll be uh, a little more difficult. Ah, uh, you know what? Rema, just get in here already. <laughs> Wait, do I only have close range attackers now? Well, I guess I'm gonna send in uh, Yuka into the back row, then. Usually I have far too few uh, close-range attackers. So yeah, the final battle against the strongest fairy army! And they're a little beaten up. <laughs> so, uh, they don't even have all three fairies of light in here! They are the most troublesome characters! Because you can only attack them from a specific range, except for, uh... Star. That makes things easier. <laughs> a lot easier. Oh, and I probably should attack Letty. Oh well. Yeah, Letty is now the strongest character in this army. Well, she was always, but... Um... Still, she isn't that much uh, to worry about. Ah! Although these enemies do attack us for a lot more than they usually do. Or it might just be my imagination, too. Cold Arrival, lowers all of our stats, well, everyone's. Eh, yeah, we can only attack Letty because Luna is not affected by close range attacks, and now she's dead. Nice. Yeah, Perfect Freeze. Oh, no, I don't even see if she lowers my stats. Well, Perfect Freeze, well, uh, something I uh, didn't notice before, can also randomly lower your stats as well. But unfortunately, we couldn't see that because our stats were lowered already. And how did Yuka get so low on HP anyway? <laughs> that usually does not happen. Whoa! Retreat! <laughs> Holy. That was bad. Like, really? Ow! She killed Yuka! Something I never uh, think I have to say. Oh god, please don't retreat, Yuka. I don't want to do everything all over again, but it might happen. Ugh. Oh well. Why are you retreating from Rumia? Rema is the one who's stronger, you know? Also, Rumia is, if memory serves right, better in far range than she is in close range. Oh well. Kirno is dead, 100%, and Yuka died. Oh god. <laughs> uh... It just had to happen. <sighs> I'll be right back, guys. You wanted it that way. Master Spock! There. <laughs> so useless that ability because it costs so much, but it's so fun to use. <laughs> so. This time, we've beaten the fairy army, though. Gee. Seriously, how did you go retreat from me? Oh, my luck really shines through at the worst of times, really. <laughs> Ugh. This is all a lie, a lie, I say. The so-called strongest, the yokai of winter, Diose, and the three mischievous fairies fought valiantly against the Reymolad Hakre army, but bravery was never going to be enough. Uh, it 
it's over. I can finally go back to sleep. Letty, do something! Don't be unrealistic. I can't do anything at this point. Yes, yes, you fall lost, alright? Oh, how could this be impossible? Etc, etc. Happy, I'll be going now. Hey, where do you think you're going? Where? I'll be sleeping for a little while longer until winter arrives. Did you not read the rules? The losers will have to serve under the winners. In other words, you all are prisoners. What did you... Kirino, what's the meaning of this? You never told me about that. I didn't know either. Pleading ignorance isn't going to work with us, I'm afraid. Well, if you want to sleep, you can certainly sleep forever. If you're talking like that, you mean... Don't you know? Those who participate, then break the rules, will be punished by a scary yokai. So scary that you'll practically melt away. Oh. Oh. How did it become like this? Er, why does it seem like there's less of you all than there's supposed to be? Ah, now that you mention it... Ah! Uh, how did you find me? A quick look around the surroundings discovered Daiose, trying to sneak away without anyone noticing. She became flustered upon Kirino finding her. You tried to run away by yourself, that's so mean! Uh, uh, <laughs> that isn't all of them still. Ow! An aim fired a needle as she turned, and a pain shriek rang out an area which looked like it had nothing in it. How were we found? I thought we could run away after they let their gal down from catching the other fairy. Oh, that's cruel. Alright, you all behave yourselves now. If it's coming to this, then... Read the fuse! Run! Hey, wait! At Star Sapphire's command, the three fairies flew off at once. Reime hesitated to chase them down due to their ability to hide their figures and sound. And soon, the trail was lost. They're fast as long as it involves running away. Well, anyway, this is the end for all of you. And the lake is now mine! You heartless monster! Please let me sleep. And so, the lake covered in mist fall under the control of Remus' army. Well, it took long enough if you ask me. <laughs> But anyway, now we've gotten uh, Leti, Kirino, and Daichan as prisoners. To be all honest, they all suck. <laughs> Kirino, really, may lower the, uh, the enemy's speed, with a high emphasis on the May part. Leti decreases the speed of everyone except the user, and Kirino, it seems, because she's also well, ice related. And Daiose can teleport one enemy to the very far position. Really, none of the abilities is all that great, and only Letty has decent stats. Actually, Letty's stats aren't all that bad. But really, Kirino might have similar stats to, uh, uh, what's in your medicine, but medicine is still better due to the fact that your special ability is actually worth something. <laughs> Instead of Kirino's, <laughs> yeah. So, I'm probably not going to use those three characters, although I am going to uh, negotiate them to join my party, because we want to recruit them uh, all for... Uh, especially Wentz that we can unlock by recruiting other characters. Actually, let's do that next episode, because I, uh, we're kind of uh, low on time there. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, next time, we will recruit the three useless characters and probably uh, get rid of them the turn after. And we will either... Oh no, we won't attack the uh, random or the mysterious <laughs> territories behind the lake because they first have to show off and then declare war on us. And well, maybe the A&T group will actually start declaring war on us anytime soon. <laughs> so this was NCS and farewell for now.